This driver swing drill is so simple. It's going to get you hitting better tee shots, stop you slicing it, hit it further than you are already. So if you want to hit longer drives, this is going to help. This is such a simple golf lesson for so many golfers that I see day in, day out, that's killing them. Come on, let's get you hitting some better tee shots. Common swing problems we see with driver, people hitting down at the ball, hitting these ramming into the ground drives as you saw me hit earlier, also hitting left, so out to in. And then it also works with their irons, they tend to get down and top the ball a little bit sometimes, or they bottom out too early and actually hit up, which is them coming down too early, which makes them top it. We need to get you some level of consistency with delivery of the club for you to have the best chance of hitting the best drives that you can. One really common repeatable fault we see time and time again is on the way people and golfers are turning their shoulders, which allows them to change direction on the downswing, which we don't want. So they turn their shoulders and lift, and then they hit the ball, they put a big drop in their shoulders as they turn, which you can see what that does to the club as it throws it out. Now I'm gonna either crash to go straight or I'm just gonna commit to that and hit down and to the left. So if we can get you making a backswing where we get a lot more coil, a lot more turning, which will allow you to drop the hands down and get that club coming through straighter, your driving is gonna be easier without you having to think about changing downswing pass, without having you having to think about why am I doing that? We can just simply take the reward away of doing that in the backswing. A couple of drills you can use to really try and get this backswing now, feeling like you do have that little bit more tilt in your upper body as you go back, that you are winding that body up rather than just pulling back and standing up on it. First thing is you can be aware of where your lead shoulder is. And actually I quite like golfers to try and hit the ball with their lead shoulder. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna point my lead shoulder down towards the ball as I look down in my perspective. So if there was like a laser coming out of my lead shoulder, if I go here, it's coming up to the camera. If I tilt down, that feels like in my head, like it could point down at the ball a bit more. This is a great way of getting golfers to feel like they're swinging much better on a path that will hit that ball out in a more consistent way. So lead shoulder down towards the ball, lead shoulder going under chin, trying to feel like trail shoulder goes up as you turn lead shoulder down. And using the lead shoulder as a trigger to try and hit the ball is a great starting point. This often sends the hands up more, so it gets rid of this kind of bounce back this way, and it tends to get golfers really feeling much more kind of turned in their upper body with this, what we call it's actually tilt this way rotated just to this side. Making the move with that lead shoulder down is really good for triggering so many better movements in the backswing, which allow you without thinking to trigger better downswings. And then without having to think a hundred things, trigger better tee shots. The next move you can do, it's the same ideas, but you can push to give yourself a visual aid. Just put the club across your shoulders here. So I'm just holding it up against my kind of rib cage and I've got the grip end out this side and I am gonna turn that grip down in my perspective. So it's pointing down at the ball. Again, giving me that feeling of coiling on the way back, which is gonna be better for getting the arms up in the air. The arms up in the air is what's gonna allow us to drop them down on a better path. Basically, it's gonna give us the option of having a better downswing rather than this stand up low arms woohoo out this way so giving it the feeling before you hit the ball or at home practicing of pointing this butt end of the club somewhere down towards the ball to even inside it rather than feeling like you're coming over it so as i look here this is coming way over the ball this is coming down in my perspective and it's pointing just at the t basically the bottom part of the ball great way of feeling better turns. Remember these better turns might create better width at the top, which again is gonna give us that better downswing and path, better drives, which would be lovely, wouldn't it? Now, the next thing with this idea is try and make sure that you do get your shoulders to turn down to the ball and beyond. So in effect, my shoulders going to about this side of the ball on my perspective, which gets my back nicely to the target, allows me to set my arms a little bit further back. I do see golfers try to do this and in an effort to not stand up, they don't turn their shoulders much just here and then kind of bury the arms. What they're doing is they feel restricted here. They feel like they're gonna stand up. So they stop standing up by stop turning and then just use the arms more. Unfortunately, this will speed the arms up at the top of the backswing, delivering again a bounce back, which will send the club this way. You do need to make sure as you do this idea that you're not cheating it. 
we don't want you stopping here because you feel if you go further you're going to go up we want you being able to turn that club so again if i look here this club is pointing now down back behind the ball as my lead shoulder goes down towards to just inside so we do need a good full turn as we do this and you can even feel if you're worried that you're someone who swings the arm a long way and if you do a big turn with your shoulders you know you're going to get dragged away just try and feel like you keep your hands this side of the shoulder turn so as i turn my shoulder down towards the ball and beyond i'm trying to push my arms out this side don't just let your arms bury like they do when you do your small shoulder turn this changing of the order of your backswing changing of the way you stretch so what stretched out this side compared to how much you've turned and the tilt is absolutely what's going to trigger those better downswing actions again without you having to really think and then the last move to help you with this is try and feel like your hips will get involved as well so if i don't rotate my hips or i do rotate my hips but keep them quite level this is often what causes these actions so let your hips as you're turning that shoulder down and beyond the ball look how my lead knee has come in my trail knee is straightened up a little bit my hips have rotated and tilted so make sure your hips are getting involved as well so if i put this on my hips you're going to see they don't go anywhere near as far as my shoulders go because there's some separation but they're not just going a level this is very common level hips Woo up here and they're not not going very far so if i turn my hips just a little i mean my shoulders are getting to there and i'm stuck unless something gives up and releases and that's what we see is that common pattern so make sure you let your hips get involved in this action make sure your hips are also rotating and tilting and don't be afraid to use your knees a bit more than lots of golfers do so don't be afraid to let your lead knee bend in you almost point at the ball trail knee straighten up a bit this is going to allow your hips to allow your upper body to get into a better position which in turn allows your arms to get into a better position and there's the trigger for that downswing that we're looking for you want better drives you want longer straighter drives this is the trigger that's really going to help you now remember to sign up for my free weekly newsletter if you like these tips and you want to go more into depth into some of these angles link down below to my free weekly newsletter did i say it was free now if you want to stay on youtube and work out why the timing of your shots isn't quite where it should be this video's got all the answers